Is it possible to beat Dark Souls while only using Pyromancy? Dark Souls has inspired countless of runs throughout the years, each with their own level of complexity. And here on my channel, I, I kind of want to complete them and analyze these challenges and put them to the test as an experienced Dark Souls player myself. So today, I'm not only here to find out if it's possible, but to also rank their difficulty and overall enjoyment of the challenge. That'll be at the end of the video, though. So one, I can only use Pyromancy as a weapon the entire game for all bosses. All right. Two, no major glitches. And three, get good. The journey begins in the character creation screen where I must choose a name for my pyromancer without second thought I chose Frederick. Yep, the red haired traveler. Then I awakened at my cell, grabbed a key, climbed a ladder, skipped a bonfire, snorted on the ass demon stench, rolled a bowling ball to my savior Oscar, had a seizure in front of Oscar, <coughs> lit a bonfire, grabbed the flame, jumped over the boss, tested out my new flames while getting thumbnail pictures, opened a door, then got snatched by a crow. We're in Firelink now, which means it's time to grab items. I picked up humanities, firebombs, talismans, useless weapons, homeward bones, souls, more souls, 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 and more souls. The store is greatsword, souls, grass crest shield, and red tear stone ring. I set off my adventures outmaneuvering every single enemy and undead bird, then failing a jump, which almost cost me my life. Oh God, oh God, oh, I missed. Had a near-death experience for some rubbish and a humanity. I'm a god. Then, more souls. Transversed the white fog, met a dragon, and rested at the bonfire. Headed back to go visit the merchant and get the residence key. Experienced my first death after being brazzered by the hollow guarding the ladder. On my second try, I climbed the ladder only to realize that the only two items up the ladder were throwing knives and crossbolts. Yippee. I worked my way up a ladder, prioritizing items over my life, then made the conscious decision to visit my old friend Black Knight. I ran past him and got a useless ring I'll never equip, and after seeing the army behind him, I gave up on life. Rest in peace, Frederick. And took one last look at the beauty of Undead Burke. Now, I make the brilliant effort to recover my souls, died to gravity, I attempted the roll once more, couldn't kill the Black Knight, I ended up dying. I gave up on trying to kill the Knight and proceeded on with the area. I almost forgot about the flaming barrel and the enemies right after it. Luckily, I had all my eight fireballs and was thinking of how easy Taurus Demon would be, until I died to one of the crossbolt hollows at the top of the ladder. <laughs> After dying two times, I then realized eight fireballs may not be enough. Oh, oh, that's not gonna be enough. And I needed a working strategy to get to Taurus. So I tried to set up RTSR, or Red Tear Star Ring, which would give me an extra 50% damage boost while at low health, and then died. I gave up on activating Red Tear Stone Ring and decided to just try to avoid the crossbolt hollows altogether. But I realized how all of Taurus Demon's attacks have an area of effect damage. So even if you dodge them, you're you're actually not dodging it. I, I died again. Yeah. And you know what they say? Third times. What? No, I died. I realized that when Taurus jumps on the platform, he'll end up killing both of the hollows, the ones that shoot bolts at you, which gave me a good idea for the next run. I ran out to trigger Taurus. Climbed the ladder, got Taurus to kill the hollows, rolled off the platform, and climbed the ladder right afterwards. After a few drops, I'd activate our TSR for a turn, giving me the added. <laughs> Let's go! Yes! I then ran across the bridge, got some souls, raised the sun. Almost forgot about the dragon, got a checkpoint, went the wrong way, was able to get past the dragon. I rang a lever, picked up a soul, tried to fight against the hollows on the bridge, grabbed the basement key, homeward it out, ran to the basement and got burned in the process, opened a checkpoint, almost got murdered by dogs, talked to the sorcerer, burned the dogs, died to torch hollows, ah, realized I forgot to rest at the bonfire and had to run all the way back, got the checkpoint for real this time, ran past all the enemies, died. Entered the fog gate, realized I don't do enough damage. <laughs> Died. Gave up on Capra and decided to head down to Blight Town to get power with it. Another pyromancy spell. Ran past the blights, walked across a sketchy tree branch, grabbed crimson armor, righted a wheel, rested at the bonfire, became Jewish, grabbed a soul, got blocked by enemies and died, made it to the ladder, got blocked, almost died, got blocked on the ladder, got ganged up on, almost died to gravity, no! 
Thank God I'm a G. Used all my fireballs against the shaft monster and failed to get the item. Tried again and died. Died again. Died. Died. Died to one of the fire breathing cicadas. Died to poison. No! Died to suicide. Quit the game to prevent the humanoid hollows from killing me. With red tear stone and five fire bombs, I was able to grab power with it. Yes. Yes, finally. I can die. Yes. Ran all the way up back to the wheel, grabbed souls and a firekeeper soul, died to doggos, ran all the way back up to firelink shrine, then to undead bird, farm for one level to increase my attunement slot, equip power within, base capper demon, died, died again, and again, again, and again. Used power within to get my health low enough for RTSR, shot some fireballs, did a lot of waiting, shot two more fireballs, that's a lot of damage! And with one fireball remaining, I killed Capper Demon. Yes! 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 After homewarding out of the boss arena, I ran back down, dodged all the enemies once more, talked to the lady merchant, unlocked a checkpoint, rested at Firelink, opened the depths door, grabbed two souls, almost died to a torch hollow, rescued Solomon the Pyromancer, died to the butcher, returned to the depths to grab my souls, homewarded out, bought combustion, opt souls, bought fire orb, upgraded my flame hand to plus five, Upgraded my attunement slots to four. Tested my fire out on a rat. Took revenge out on some hollows near the bonfire. Headed back to the bridge. Died after being double teamed on the staircase. Took revenge on the black knight with my flames. Killed some hollows. Picked up alluring schools. Killed a boar. Got a mystery key. Picked up a shield. Ran to the church bonfire. Lit the church bonfire. Met Andre. Fought with the titanite demon. Won. Gave a wave. Went back to the church. Fought off against the three musketeers. Killed a semi giant. Picked up a Firekeeper Soul, almost died to the Boulder Knight, killed the Boulder Knight, juked all the enemies in Hollow Room, entered the White Fog, used Power Within, threw some Fire Orbs at the first Gargoyle, got uppercutted by the Gargoyle, killed the first Gargoyle with Combustion, and ended the fight with a Wombo Combo of Fire Orb and Combustion. Fog, oh, I did it! Rang the bell, burned down the Hollows that I missed earlier, killed the Channeler, Elevator Time, Upgraded my flames to plus seven, had my firekeeper killed, became an egg, ran past Torch Hollows, rested at the bonfire, dropped down to fight Stray Demon. This is going to take a while. Picked up a peculiar doll, killed Oscar, returned to Firelink, upgraded the flame to plus 10, went back to the church, killed the lizard, died, got the black albert, fought the hydra, received the dust crown ring, killed the golden golem, got the angel wings, grew wings, bought some homeward bones, visited the depths again, entered the white fog, defeated the gaping dragon, opened blight town door, picked up a soul, made it down to the bonfire, killed man-eater Mildred, picked up new pyromancy, realized quailag is resistant to fire, dipped out, Summoned Mildred, died, boned out when Mildred got killed, died again, and again, and again, and again. And after a few tries and some cheering, Come on, Mildred! Oh god. Oh, come on, Mildred! I was able to get Mildred to kill Quaylag. Yes! Yes! I love you! Thank you, Mildred. Rang the second bell, joined the Chaos Covenant, got incubated, grew some balls, Bought Poison Mist and Toxic Mist, reinforced my S's to plus two, returned to the bonfire, Ran back up to the Firelink Shrine, killed the prick, killed all one, two, three, four members of the faith. Hurrah. Rested at the church bonfire, entered Dark Root Gardens, souls, more souls, equipped new artillery, got six attunement slots, ran to the fog gate, entered the fog gate, waited for Moonlight Butterfly to attack, annihilated the boss in one turn. Returned to the bonfire, got seven attunement slots, crossed the bridge to Sens, souls, broke some ankles, got hit with lightning, entered a white fog, died, jumped on a snake, souls, made it to the boulders, ran through arrows, almost met death, souls, bonfire, ran up to iron golem, killed the boulder golem, raised the flame, entered the white fog, and with three pyromancies, down went golem. Help, I'm falling. Made it to Anne Orlando, leveled up,
God damn it. Killed the gargoyles on the bridge, didn't die to gravity, pulled the lever, killed my last gargoyle, died to archers, didn't die my second time, lit a bonfire next to Solaire, died to the Silver Knight, took revenge, picked up all of Havel's armor, skipped a majority of Anorlando, went to go take vengeance on Lautrec, killed one of Lautrec's lackeys, then I murdered Lautrec and his sorcerer, praise the flame. All oh, know this one's gonna be tough. Try this with the same music as before. Yes! Praise the flame. Rode an elevator, opened a door, gave Guinevere some warmth. Nice tits! Teleported to Firelink, upgraded my flame to plus 15, revived the Firekeeper, murdered the impure fire wielder, bought the bellowing dragon crest ring, dropped into the darkness, placed the Lord Vessel, headed down to Pinwheel, pushed a lever, lit a bonfire, made a leap of faith, dealt with bone wheels, entered the white fog, one, two, three, shot Pinwheel, raised the flame, rolled my way down to the Tomb of Giants bonfire, healed patches, souls, souls. Lantern, maneuvered my way around Nito's area. Souls, souls. Entered the white fog gate. Died, died again. Tried to use the boss's shield against his minions. Used repetitive combustions and chaos fireballs to eventually kill Nito. Hiya! Did it! Yeah. Raise the flame. Teleported to Quailag's domain. Pop 30 humanity. Donated all my 30 humanity to the flame. Visited the true flame wielder. Ascended my flame to plus three. Traveled to the undead parish. Killed Andre for the crest of Artorias. Sorry, Andre. Bonfire. Used the crest of Artorias. Joined the cat's god covenant. Almost died to the ninja. Got the sorcerer to jump off the cliff. Killed the knight. Killed the thief. Killed the warrior. Killed the samurai. Killed the ninja. Got the wood grain ring. Opened Sif's door. Died. Now it's Sif's turn to die. Hey Alexa, cue the sad music. After Sip, we went back to Firelink, another elevator, picked up some transient curses, burned a ghost, burned a banshee, got brazzered again, killed my duplicate, pulled a lever, skipped 90% of the area, entered the white fog, equipped the abyss ring, stuck with using great combustion on the first king, stuck with combustion on the second king, and stuck with combustion for the third king, and down went the second lord's soul. Raised the flame, teleported to Blighttown, upgraded my flame to plus five, homeward it out, leveled up, teleported to Anorlando, the real elevator time. Pulled a lever, lit a bonfire, entered the white fog, died. Oh, god damn it! Let's try that again. I ran, flamed, ran again, double flamed, down one Gwendolyn. Sorry, Broad. Upgraded my armor, leveled up, ran to the painting, entered the painted world, lit a bonfire, souls, 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 more souls, entered the white fog, opened a door, leveled up, picked up acid surge, souls, 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 climbed down a ladder. Souls, turned a wheel, souls, died, ran to Priscilla, entered the white fog, got frustrated at Priscilla's invisibility. Bro, where are you? Oh my god! Ah. Finally found Priscilla, used one last combustion. Goodbye. Praised the flame, exited the painting, ran down some stairs, teleported to the other in Orlando bonfire, fought two boars, lit a bonfire, pulled a lever, killed the golem with the pendant, souls, pulled another lever, killed the crystallized man, killed a lizard, got yeeted. <laughs> Lit a bonfire, grabbed a key, opened a door, climbed a ladder, got another key, homered it out, climbed another ladder, opened another door, killed a scholar, spun two wheels, did that one bloodborne meme. Pulled yet another lever, lit a bonfire, lever, went through the white fog, got a humanity, died to the golden golem, died to gravity. Oh no. God damn it. Killed a school of lizards, killed a whole ton of clams, broke C's regeneration stick, C's health bar was no match for the power of my flames, praised the flame, leveled up, upgraded my armor, teleported to Unped Parish, entered the DLC, entered the white fog, fought against the guardian, he was very weak to my flames. Raised the flame, oh. lit a bonfire, killed Elizabeth, leveled up, met Calamite, killed a lizard, got circumcised. Oh no, that wasn't worth it! Oh! oh. 
got a checkpoint, entered the white fog, died to Arcturians. Oh god! Died again. Ah, ah, no! And again, hit Artorias with a few combustions. Got slammed on. Twice. Then defeated Artorias with Chaos Fireballs. Yes! Yes! Praised the flame. Leveled up at the bonfire. Souls. More souls. Died to Mimic. Oh god, I didn't know. I didn't know. Got revenge. Died. Yeah, Ran across a bridge. Got some rubbish. Died. Died again. Got mimicked. What? What? I didn't know. I didn't know. No. Got the crest key, found an elevator, became dead, dead again, more dead, dead once more, lit a bonfire, died to gank, picked up the wrong item. Oh, that's that's not the good spell. That's the wrong spell. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Died. I'm gonna die. Ah! Died again, picked up Black Flame, teleported to Quaylag's domain, ran across the bridge to Ceaseless, entered the White Fog, picked up his armor set, tested a firework, it did not, nor did poison, or toxic. Black Flame worked perfectly though. Leveled up, ran past Capra Demon, killed the Hungry Caterpillar, lit a bonfire, entered the White Fog, died prematurely, bam the mix of combustion, Charming. black flames on the Demon Fire Sage, killed the Demon Fire Sage. You did it! Praise the flame, elevator time. <laughs> died for souls, lit a new bonfire. Quick reminder that Centipede Demon is immune to all fire damage, and Black Flame does like 10 damage. The only way to harm him is by using Toxic or Poison Mist. So on that note, I died 18 times. I summoned Solaire, spent four minutes running around in a circle, and if you don't believe me, I'll play it here. Two hours! Raise the flame. Lit a bonfire. Souls. Big souls. Lit another bonfire. Ran a bed of chaos. Died. Entered the white fog. Claim the first route. Quit the game. Claim the second route. Quit the game. Died. Made the jump. Died again. And down went the last Lord Soul. Yes! I did it! We have three of the hardest bosses left. So, hey Alexa! Do the anime music. Of it.
So is it possible to beat Dark Souls while only using Pyromancy? The answer is yeah. If you don't count summons and DLC as like, like extra content or stuff that you're not supposed to use, then yeah, 100% you can beat it. Now, the overall enjoyment of this challenge, I would give a 6 out of 10. Centipede Demon and Capper Demon really drain the life out of you, but everything else is relatively easy if you know how to play the game. Now, difficulty, on the other hand, I would give this challenge about a 3 out of 10. It wasn't really that hard, and since it's like my first challenge, I didn't expect it to be too hard. But it'll get more difficult as I create more and more new ideas. But this video was a tough one. I spent about 15 hours on the playthrough itself and 50 hours editing this entire thing. And that doesn't even include the script that I had to write for this entire thing, which is like seven paragraphs, eight paragraphs long. So I'd really appreciate if you guys made it up to this part of the video to like, subscribe. Um, if you want to share it, you can. It'll really help me out and push my content out there. But yeah, thank you and peace.